Hi everyone, I've been reading through the comments and I notice a few of you are not understanding the part of adding or subtracting mixed numbers, especially when it comes to regrouping or borrowing. Don't worry, today I'm gonna make that process a whole lot easier for you. And now with that said, all right, math legend, let's see if you can solve this math problem first before I do. If you got the answer, let me know in the comment section down below and also subscribe to get more challenges like this one, 13, one over three min minus six, 11 over 12 equals. Now, some people will just turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions, and then they'll subtract them, and then they get an answer. And that, that's okay. However, that's going to take a lot of multiplication and division, and it may take more time. So I think doing it this way or solving this problem vertically will be much easier and faster. And we will start working with the fractions first, and then we'll work with the whole number second. So let's go ahead and subtract 1 over 3 minus 11 over 12. Now, we cannot, and you, you know why, and that is because the denominators are different. We have a 3 and a 12. They need to be the same for us to subtract these fractions. So how can we make these fractions have the same denominator? Well, the first thing I'm thinking of is get the multiples of 3 and 12 and find the, the least common multiple, which is the lowest multiple both numbers that we are working on, the 3 and the 12, have in common. So let's go ahead and find the multiples of 3 and 12. And I am going to draw my um, table here, we have the space, and I'll write the 3 here and the 12 here, and then I am going to write numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and stop there. So these are the whole numbers that we'll use to multiply the 3 and the 12, so we can find our multiples. So. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 3 is 12. And you can barely see it, so I'm just going to write it here. So the multiples of 3 is 3, 6, 9, and 12. And the multiples for 12, 1 times 12 is 12. Oops, look at that. It's not a oops, but look, there's a 12 here and a 12 there. That's good. So we don't have to continue multiplying 2 times 12 is 24, blah, blah, blah. We can just stop there because you should know why. The 12 is the smallest multiple that both numbers here have in common. So that is the lowest common multiple, 12. And I'll write that here. Let me write 1 and 12. Just 12. Oops. Because we only build 12. Um, lowest common multiple is 12. So we're gonna write that 12. And we're gonna, and the reason why we're doing this and finding the lowest common multiple is because we want to make equivalent fractions for these fractions. So the equivalent of this fraction. We're going to write 12 for the denominator, and for this fraction, a 12 for the denominator. So now we have two equivalent fractions. And um, when we get our equivalent fraction done, then we can subtract them, and then we'll get our answer. Now, that's why we're doing the lowest common multiple. But we first need to find the... Um, multiples of these two numbers, 3 and 12. Now that we have our denominators the same, now we have to put our new numerators. And by doing that, so we can complete our um, equivalent, we have, to find, we have to find what times, 12 times what give us 12? 1, right? And, and whatever you, you write here, Below the fraction, you do the same up here. So 11 times 1 
is 11. And then what you do here, 3 times what give, gives you 12? Well, 4. So what do, you, what do you do here? You do up here. And so 1 times 4 is 4. And now we can subtract because the denominators are the same. Now, there's a, it, there's a problem here. 4 over 12 is smaller than the 11 over 12. And any time um, you have the first fraction smaller than the second fraction, you need to borrow from the whole number that I'm pointing at, which is 13, to make the first fraction larger so then you can subtract. So we're going to borrow a 1 from this 13. So now it becomes 12. This is the reason why I wanted to start with the fractions first. And then we'll move on to the whole numbers. So now it's not a 13 no more, it's a 12. And so I'm going to write that 1 right here. And that 1, we're going to convert that borrowed 1 into a fraction. Since our denominators are 12s or 12, we'll use 12 over 12 which is the same as one whole, right? So I'll just cross off that and just say plus 12 over 12. Remember, we're adding 12 over 12 or the one to this uh, fraction. So then it becomes larger and we can subtract 11 over 12. So let's go ahead and add four plus 12. That gives you 16 over 12. Now, we can subtract, so let's just move this fraction over here so we can see the subtraction. So 16 minus 11 is 5 over 12, and then 12 minus 6 is 6. I'll write it here. So your answer is 6, 5 over 12. So I'll write it here, 6, 5 over 12. And I did, said that, I did say that earlier, that we're going to combine the whole number and the fraction together, and that will be our answer. So our answer is 6, 5 over 12. And there you go. Hey, Math Legends. Here is a challenging problem for you. 17, 3 over 5, minus 8, 11 over 13. Go ahead and solve this problem and then type your answer in the comment section down below and this will be good practice. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.